This prop is a Clean Sky 2 project that investigates distributed propulsion as a means to improve the aerodynamic efficiency of future regional aircraft. We are a consortium between three universities, the Technical University of Berlin here, the Technical University of Braunschweig, the University of Stuttgart, and we have one company, Leichtwerk AG, and one non-profit foundation, DNW German Dutch Windhouse. Overall, we have approximately 20 scientists working on this prop. We are funded by the EU, and our industrial partner is Airbus. Distributed propulsion consists in replacing the two large propellers that you typically see on the wing of an aircraft by many smaller propellers that are distributed over the wing of the aircraft. If done properly, you get a positive interaction between the aerodynamics of the wing and the propeller slipstream, and this leads to better efficiency and increased performance. The second advantage is that by working with smaller propellers you can bring in electric motors instead of the usual gas turbines. So if you do it right, distributed propulsion is a one-two punch that can dramatically decrease aircraft emissions. So in this probe our objective is to develop the tools that will help engineers design new distributed propulsion aircraft. And for this we use a two-step strategy. First, we perform wind tunnel tests here in Berlin and also in Braunschweig to generate a high-quality experimental database. And second, in parallel, we develop and validate computational tools for aerodynamics and aeroacoustic design that are specifically tweaked for distributed propulsion. The aerodynamic flow over an aircraft wing with propellers creates a lot of turbulence. This turbulence must be modeled in numerical flow simulations. If we put a complete wing into the test section, the model will be so small that it cannot generate useful aerodynamic data. Therefore, we have decided to use only a section of the whole wing with three propellers mounted side by side. The outcome of our project is that the European industries will have the necessary trust into their flow predictions that they need to design future commercial aircraft with distributed propulsion. The good cooperation and the exchange of information between the different teams was crucial to the success of this project. So with this prop, we now have a better understanding of the complex aerodynamics that characterizes distributed propulsion. And we also have the tools to use this complex aerodynamics to our advantage and build better aircraft.